Yeah, you know, I just sent the paper read to me. All right, are you ready to go forward or do you feel like you need to continue? Absolutely. No, forward. Okay. Can I have witnesses? We're ready on this end, Your Honor. All right. All right, if you could both raise your right hand. Are we church, you got a computer? Can you hear now? Yes. Mr. Church, can you raise your right hand? Ma'am. Everybody yes. raise, brother, raise your right hand. Y'all swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give of this petition for a TPO is the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. Mr. Church? I do. Mr. Grevy? I do. All right. All right, Mr. Church, the rules are tell me, tell me exactly what happened. Don't don't argue with anybody. Don't be nasty. Just tell me exactly what's going on. Start from the most recent event and work backwards. Don't interrupt one another, okay? Be most specific. Re most recent and work backwards? Yes, sir. Be specific to me. It's got to be written down on the... It's been a month since I've uh, filed it. Uh, well, the most recently what happened was pull up about 2 a.m. and... Uh, I knew it was his truck, but uh, they come out and either him or his friend shot off a gun right on my door and told me that two people were putting their ears to my door. And that's why they came up and shot the gun and uh, asked me to come outside. And it, it did. It put me in fear, but I, I tried not to be in fear from it. Uh, but uh, I can't believe uh, he would do something like that, but that's what he does. He did that, and then before that, he's a felon number one with a gun, and he uh, he's been arrested for it uh, just about a month ago, and uh, to, well maybe two months ago for that or something on Lakewood Avenue, and uh, I'm I'm in fear from uh, you know from what he does. Uh, just uh, uh, three or four nights ago. There were four. That there were seven people in the house. I stay in a house about thirty feet from from uh, from the door, and I use the kitchen in the house. And I go in the house, and uh, I'll I'll let uh, I'm in the house, but I go in, and there's seven people in there dancing around with needles and passing out and going Narcan, Narcan, get Narcan. I go call the police. I don't live in the house, and he 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 lives in the house. And that's going on there, and and uh, they threatened me. They wouldn't leave. These two young uh, junkies threatened me. Say, uh, we don't have to go anywhere. Uh, it, it's ain't your house. I told them to get on, you know, and, and, and they wouldn't leave. And I called the police. So, uh, he, uh, is he renting from you? Yes. All right, go ahead. Let me hear from you, Mr. McGreevy. No, that's not true. Uh, nobody fired no gun. And um, this this thing about the people in the house. Uh, for a lie detector. What he's talking about. Um, I was in bed. Those people were not my company. He has other tenants that live in the house. And we all know the people that were in the house. Every one of the tenants know the people that were in the house. They were not my company. I was in bed. And they were, there was some people up making some noise. Um, I don't know to the extreme that he's saying, but um, they, they were, I, were not my company, Your Honor. I was in bed at this point in time. It says in this thing that you, you, you threatened him. What, did you I've shoot a gun outside of his door? No, no, Your Honor. I've never threatened, I've never threatened him. He's threatened me, but I've never threatened him. This was his way of what he told me how he was going to get me evicted. I mean, did you shoot a gun out off outside of his door? No, oh, Your Honor, we did not. Um, I have the witness. There's actually cameras, and uh, I have camera footage of him breaking my camera off because, just because he was mad. So he comes in the house storming, he's screaming, cussing, uh, kicks my door, and then as he goes back out of the house, he breaks the camera off the house. That's destruction of my property. I'm still, all I did, even even that day, I helped him load all the trash up into my truck and haul it off. It was kind of him destroying his own property, isn't it? No, because it's my cameras. 
So he says, he, he, he says that you guys are all, you know, threatening him. He threatened him with a knife and physical harm. Never happened. I got two witnesses sitting right here. I've never threatened him in any way. I, I have a calm demeanor. I don't threaten people. I'm more apt to walk away from any problem than walk into it. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Church. Anything from you? Uh, yes. Uh, every time he does something wrong, threatens somebody or something, he denies it right to your face right after he's done it. And uh, he's, I think he's a sociopath. How'd he get into this house with you? He uh, told me that all his relatives had died, uh, overdoses, one thing or another. I, he didn't tell me they were overdosed. But uh, that he had seven people die, and I felt sorry for him. I didn't check his record, uh, but I, you know, I said, "You're not a drug dealer, are you?" And uh, he said, "No." And I've just been a, scared of him for uh, since he moved in, and I can't do. Uh, he's always got a gang of people out in the yard or in the house, and they're all. Uh, you know, against me because I I don't want, want people in my yard at, at all times, and I don't want people over at the house at all times. He might have ten ten uh, uh, people a day come see him, uh, and sometimes forty. And uh, I'm just in it's fear. It's not about that. It's not about how many people come to see. You, but I'm, I'm just... in fear of those people. I, I'm sorry. I'm in fear of those people, and in fear of him because he's telling you a story. I'll take a lie detector test right now. Hey, I'm not I'm not talking about that. I'm talking how many times he's threatened. Oh, probably 30. I mean, how many times have you called the police? I've called the police. Uh, how many times? Uh, four. What have they the done? first two times they laughed me off. So I, that's the last two times they had enough. What did they do? Uh, well, one poured around the front and uh, he laughed it off, you know, and said, ah, you're calling because of that. It was because, of, well, that was because of a friend that he brings over there every time he can bring her over there who, who has assaulted me. It's a female. Uh, he keeps bringing her back and she makes a huge, the, the kitchen is a filthy mess. It's okay, dangerous. I don't care about the mess. I care about you. Uh, I, I, the, 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 her, his friend that he brings over there consciously and on purpose uh to, to assault me and she's assaulted me twice and i've made a police report about it but i didn't go way over it broke into my place and assaulted me uh, one time and the other time assaulted me through the door in his room and hit me in the face over somebody and uh she brings that hurt around every second he can but the main thing i'm worried about is him having a gun uh and and threatening me and uh, you know, threatening they're they're all talking about beating somebody's uh age, you know, every minute. I'm 63 and all of them are in their forties or younger. I can't beat them. I can't fight them. They're always talking about fighting and threatening and uh just uh, physically uh you know invading your space right. and uh and and threatening, you know, uh do yeah. the, the, the people's records mean anything? I mean, if you uh, look at and, uh, anything else, uh, Mr. McCready? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, the whole point of this really is he wants me evicted. No, he always paid the rent on time. The not, way he I, want him, I want him out of my, out of, from threatening me. You're not supposed to be talking. I was, I was talking. Um, it's, it's the way he comes to collect the rent. So I didn't pay the rent last time it was due. Is He comes over there the day before cussing and yelling at me. He don't ask for the rent politely or nothing like that. He, he uses cuss words and is just completely vulgar and rude. And the female friend of mine that he says assaulted him, he actually assaulted her. And she just ended up. Um... All right. Well, sir, Mr. McGregor, do you have, uh, do you have all your belongings out of the house? No, no, Your Honor, I don't. All my belongings are in the house with my dogs. Um, I just got taken. They just asked me to leave yesterday. And uh, I, I need 
at least like a, a few more days so I can get all my stuff out of there. Um, I had planned on moving anyway, but you know, this, I mean, there's one way to go about evicting somebody and, and then well, there's I, 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 I kind of got that. I went to school to learn all that. Yes, Your Honor. Well, you're going to have to get uh, law enforcement to go over there with you so you can get all your stuff. Y'all both put your emails in the, in the chat for me. Uh, got in there with the little three dots are. I just don't, I don't understand why I have to be off the property. I'm no harm to him. And I've never made any threats to him. I've got two witnesses sitting right here. Yeah, then, well, seems like y'all need to stay away from one another. I mean, I, I have nowhere to go. I'm in a motel room right now. I don't have any family. I don't. I don't have nowhere to go. All right, so we will send you guys a copy of this. I will stay healthy and safe and have a good weekend. Do I still have to stay off the property, Your Honor? I don't have nowhere to go. You have to uh, go get the sheriff's office. They'll go over there with you. Get a police escort. They'll go over there with you and get your belongings. So this is really just to evict me? No, sir. It's for his safety. That man, I'm, that man is in no danger for me. I've never made a threat to him. I got witnesses right here. Um, so, 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 okay, so um, go ahead. You uh, I'll email you guys a copy of this, all right? This is his way, of, Your Honor, this is his way of being a slumlord. You know, this is how he... Okay. So stay healthy and safe. Have a good weekend. I can't believe you would support this. <laughs>